Lee. Thank you so much. You are involved in a game show called This Is Your Romance, and This Is Your Life, and This Is the Wisdom of the 65-year-old married couple. We'll start out with This Is Your Romance. Now I understand that many years ago, too numerous to mention, a young lady moved into the neighborhood and a young man saw her. Now could you give us a little details on your first meeting with mother or father? <laughs> Yes, when you heard about that there was a young lady moving to town. Well, Peggy's mom and dad were at our house, you know, and I was so impressed with them, and Peggy's mother said, we have two daughters. One is Elizabeth, we call Beth, and the other is Margaret, we call Peggy. And of course, I, being a young man, very interested in the opposite. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that word. Not on the air, folks. I'm so used to preaching, I don't know whether I like this. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's how it started because Peg's dad and mother were terrific, especially. It was just wonderful to have somebody come into the home. The ministers were invited into the homes back then. And uh, Peggy, I hadn't even seen her yet, but if, it, if she was anything like her parents, which she is, uh, that would be something to meet. Anyway. Well, uh, then you met her and you were quite smitten with her, and I understand you, you purchased some chocolate bar or something for her? But did it get to mom? Oh, I used to, I was in high school and she was in public school. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we used to ride a bike. In those days we didn't have school buses, you know. Well, it's a very good thing that we even had cars, you know. Anyway, I used to ride a bike and she'd be coming home from school. And I would buy her a chocolate bar, which was quite expensive those days, five cents, I think. <laughs> and uh, then I was too nervous to give it to her, so. I they ate the chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave, what about the tomato plants in the truck that Dad tells about? What's that? The truck. The tomato plants in the truck. The tomato plants. Oh, well, plants. Well, that, that is not a true story. That's a fable. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 just, you can ask your questions later. Yes. We, we have to, we have to keep this on the queue. You know. okay. Now, I do understand that Mom was a quite as smitten as Dad. And uh, something about dishes and dishwater, Mother? Oh, here, Mom, you can Yeah, we always put our dishwater outside, you know, because, well, I guess we didn't have septic tanks. I can still feel it. And I was open the door and whoosh. Well, I guess he was out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think I caught him. <laughs> okay, well, we, we won't go any further with that one. <laughs> now, they both went to Prairie Bible Institute together. And uh, this was a little... It's a Bible that school, by the way. It's an institute, but it's institute a Bible school. Bible school. <laughs> and... Um, you know, before they went, they, they wrote letters back and forth because Dad went out ahead, right? Yeah. Okay, good. And they had a special symbol that they put on their letters. Now, do you want to share that with us or is that too precious? That's very precious. I don't remember it. Those little stars. Oh, yeah, now I know. <laughs> She reminded me. I used to put the dipper, like the stars, and that would be our family, and it turned out that was it. But one it was less. Prophetic. No, one less. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
it's the stars of the big there was, Okay. Yeah, well, there's a little wee one there. I think that was it. Yeah. <laughs> you count those, you'll find that's right. The stars are a bit different. We put that right on there. They, they prophesied over us <laughs> before we were born. <laughs> now, what was your favorite date in the winter time? Being a true Canadian, it was. was uh, what was it? No, it was skating. We used to go to Stovall Break and. and uh, or Clubines. What was that? Clubines Pond. Oh, Clubines Pond, but that was with another guy. Oh, but. Prairie Bible Institute, what was the dating experience like there, Bible school? Now, this is interesting for those of you who think that, you know, that this is very restrictive. So you tell a little bit about your dating. Because you were engaged, weren't you, this time? Well, we pretended to be engaged so we could meet each other each month, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of they said there was any engaged couple they could meet. Once a month. Once a month. And then uh, one lady had a glass of home. Not really, that's just a story. But the glass I had would watch us. That's what it felt like anyway. Once, once a month date. That's pretty special. Very special. Now, then you did get married. And um, you... <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading as I'm talking about this going. Um, just a few little details here. What color were the bridesmaids' dresses? Mother? Yellow and turquoise. Yes, and there was a mix-up in the order for the flowers. Yeah. What, what flowers did you get? I ended up with roses. And who was the maid of honor and the best man? My brother Doug, a rich man. <laughs> He's right over there, folks, if you want to see him later. <laughs> That's your touch uncle. And then we had uh, we had other people that are present here that were present at your wedding. Was Aunt Louise at our, your wedding as well? Yeah. Just weird little things then. Uh, little bigger than me. Oh yeah, but Norma and Louise were just. Yeah. And Norma's Keith. And Beth. Were you there? Oh, 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 Helen was there. I was in utero. Oh, she was in utero. <laughs> and, um. <laughs> now, how many people came to your um, wedding reception? We figured around a couple hundred. Three hundred, I think. Three hundred. She didn't know, so I have to answer. I think three hundred. Three hundred people. Three. And um, now, there's an interesting detail about this wedding reception. What kind of a? How did they get the food? Well, have you moved forward? Yeah. The, yeah, the three churches that Dad reached at, they all contributed. And we did yeah. ourselves too. And that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And where did you go on your honeymoon? Oh. Halliburton. Halliburton. And Muskoka. Yes, and they have a tradition, and I will let it out of the bag. Every time you go into the on Highway 11, and you go up there, and you go across the Severn Bridge, and the first nice rock cut, Dad reached over and held Mom's hand. And so that became a tradition. And every time we go up to the cottage, you have to reach over and hold 